allow me at this moment to, again with humility to invite forward a woman that we all deeply love by the make no mistake about that people really love uh, this this um dr miriam matembe uh, but we also deeply respect her allow me therefore dr matembe um I'm, I my time is bad but uh, i trust you to work within five minutes uh, with humility our hands together <laughs> dr matembe Praise the Lord. She says that all of you love me, and I want to say that it is by the grace of God. And as you know, I love young people. Young people and women are deep in my heart. My colleagues at the high table, I recognize you and thank you for coming. I know as I stand here, apart from <laughs> Dr. Nawiso, I'm the oldest here. Isn't it? You are the only person who is older than me, I believe. The rest of these, I'm older. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I stand here to associate with you, to be part of you. And as you were standing and saying, we want to contest, we are the next members of parliament, I was desiring that I wish I could get time and have these young people who have all these... Eh? aspirations, and we have a dialogue. And I think you should organize it one day, because the questions I will raise to you will make you go back and rethink, and then we get a direction. That's what influence means. That's what the legacy <laughs> means. So I'm also seeking to leave a legacy through you. I don't know how many minutes I've spent already. But uh, I stand here very happy for my, I don't know whether to call him my brother, but I call him my senior mentor who mentored me in absence, not by, in, 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 in presence. Like many, I meet many women and men and they tell me, you are our mentor, you are, but I have never seen you. They said, don't worry, you mentored us at a distance. Like Professor Kanyihamba did mentor me. I would say I'm one of his, one who in, was inspired by him. I see many lawyers here, you know I'm an elder citizen, so I forget the title of that book. Constitutionalism in Uganda, what was it called? In Uganda. That book, so that means I got into contact with professor, Th those days virtual was not the word used, but I think it was virtual, because I, I got his book, 1973 at Makere, many of you will say, wow, yes, yes. That's why I call myself senior citizen. That's when I, I first read his book, and I was impressed by this book, and I, I never knew I would at one time meet this man. You know, when you are young, you think those people have gone beyond you and you cannot meet them. Little did I know that one day, by God's grace, the man I admired through his writing, would come and I would be not only become my boss, my boss as the, the Minister for Constitutional Affairs, but at one stage he became my colleague because we were together in the Constituent Assembly and of course my colleague in, in, in Parliament and my colleague, me, I just want to say that with Professor Kanyihamba, I followed completely in full his full footsteps almost 100%. The only thing I missed out, I'm not a professor. But otherwise, the honorable doctor, that one I have. <laughs> and uh, can you imagine that we are the same university, the University of Warwick? <laughs> I think he was lecturing there, and then I studied there, and then got the doctorate from Victoria University in Vancouver. And then we became honorables together, and our honorables were really honorable, not honoris. Like the honorable we see who are really honoris, but they bear the title. But for us, we stood for our integrity, for our honesty, and it was amazing. 
He fights for justice, fairness, and equality, and that's what I do for all my life. And when it comes to influence, when I saw young people here, I said, honestly, my, my big brother has had an influence. Because between you and him are very many years. But see the young people here still following Justice Kanyihamba. It means that him, he has certainly fulfilled the scripture. You're about to take me off the scripture, which you know I love the Lord. I love the Lord, and by the way, down the road, Professor Kanyihamba got born again. Did you know that? You don't know? Oh, my God. Professor Kanyihamba is a man of God. We pray to come and we pray. We cry to the Lord for our nation. And Professor Kanyihamba and I, what is at the heart of our hearts at this old age is all oh, our country, Uganda. Oh, uh, uh, and we, at times we are very emotional. Emotional about our country. When we see you young people and we say, where is this country going? Because we had certainly believed that that time, the battle from the bush and the Kanyamba coming back and everybody coming back, we had thought that that is the end of misery and suffering the way we see right now. We had thought that is the introduction of full transformation, democratic governance in Uganda, and that never again would we go back into these things that we see. But that is what happened. So what hurts us here? We are saying, God, come and redeem Uganda. When are you redeeming Uganda? So there's a young man there who said we are the next generation. And I was asking, are you Isaac or Jacob? <laughs> because God is a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I don't know who are the Jacobos. I don't know who are the Isaac. But me, I think I'm in the category of Abraham. Here we have Isaac and Jacob. But to remember the lineage, you people, you people, the corruption, the greed for materialism and wealth, which was not part of Kanyihamba and I myself. If you come to my home, you will say, e -e. people bring parents, some children drive parents to my home and they say, no, you are lost. This cannot be honorable, the great honorable. Many of my members home, they think I'm there in such great mansions. But praise the Lord, our mansions are in heaven. But what I want to see, that the John chapter 15 verse 4, 16 says, God was saying, I chose you and you did not choose me. I chose you and appointed you that you may bear fruits, fruits that would last. I want to thank God that Honorable Kanyihamba, as she's still living, has bared fruits through us, through you, and I think the fruits will last. And so I want to congratulate him for the launch of this foundation, and I want you young people to rise up and embrace this foundation that will help you to promote these values, to really give you if down the road that this nation will be again reconstituted when you, your minds, are transformed. We need transformation of your minds. You cannot transform something without having a transformation of your minds that you have to wake up and say no. Honestly, Uganda has to reach a stage and say no. Enough is enough. We cannot continue to be like the children of Israel moving around in the desert, in the desert. It is time that you break camp and move forward. And so I want to congratulate you young people who are helping Professor with this foundation. I want to invite all, all good loving Ugandans who know that this man stood for justice, fairness, and integrity and did a lot of work in this nation to rise up and support this foundation. Because you see African, these Americans, these people, they live their legacy through such foundations like that. Because, for instance, me, I've been out of public life 
for the last 19 years. If it was not by the grace of God that gave me a, a passion to run with justice, fairness, and equality, even when I have no office, have no nothing, you wouldn't be knowing that I exist. So we such kind of foundations, we say, oh, so there was this man, and then you walk into his footsteps and do the right thing. And as we launch the foundation, I want you to impart the values of this foundation into your minds, into your hearts as young children, as young people, so that as you focus on leadership, know that leadership is not self-centered is not self-driven. It is service. People, people, people. Be driven by people and service to the people. And not self-getting power for self-aggrandization. That is Kanyihamba's principle. If you are here and you love him, please pick it, follow it. And me, I know. Two or three, when two or three pick it up, God will be in your midst and we shall run. I want to hope that by the time this Uganda changes into, into a transformation that I believe in, I will still be here to praise the Lord with you. Thank you very much for your kind attention. A warmer hand clap than that. Thank you very much, Honorable Dr. Miriam Matembe. Um, she, I mean, some people get to a point where you just mention their name and everybody nods, uh, yeah, 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 we know that one. You don't, you don't need to attach an office. But I think uh, Dr. Miriam Matemba is one of those. Uh, thank you for being an inspiration, and uh, I hope that people who are here get further inspired, both by the Professor Kanyahamba, but also by his uh, charges, like Honorable Dr. Miriam Matembe.